Wait, wait. Can you listen a minute? I want to tell you how I communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you understand what I just said? Oh, no. It's easier for me to talk than it is to So the idea was to get an answer that we can talk to instead of typing it into. The Vivoca device is intended for people who have a speech impairment, which makes it quite difficult for them to communicate with people who they, maybe they've not met before, or makes it difficult when it's really important for them to get their message across. Maybe they might be at the doctor's or, or in a shop trying to make an order. So what the device will enable them to do is they can speak what it is they want to say to the device. The device recognises that and then speaks it out clearly in synthetic speech. If you've got a speech impairment, if you can control what you're saying, if you misunderstand you, you can do that to us and say, I didn't say that, and that's not what I said. We've taught the device how to recognise that person's speech. So whereas you and I might find it quite difficult to recognise their speech when we first meet them, the device is, if you like, really experienced listening to them, so it's much better at recognising them and be able to communicate what they want to say. I've the system from the beginning. I've recorded my voice. So that's the team can use the to test things out. Boom. Please give me time to speak. This is important. So the long-term aim with our partners, would, who are our industrial partners, is to produce something that's going to uh, be a workable product that they can go out and sell. But during the project, what we're keen to be able to do is demonstrate that this technology is useful to our users. Catch will be really helpful with this sort of work because it enables us to speak more readily with a lot of people around the university and other, other groups who represent people who are the sorts of participants and users that we uh, want to work with.